my name is Tom Otley and welcome to the latest video from Business Traveller. Today we're talking about aviation and specifically Virgin Atlantic. The pandemic has hit the airline hard and it's looking for support from the UK government. To discuss this, I spoke with John Strickland, aviation consultant. John, Virgin Atlantic, um, there's been a, a lot of publicity in the last week or so, mainly because Sir Richard Branson has written a, an open letter. It was supposed to be to staff, but obviously uh, quickly got out, pointing out that while he might be a billionaire, he hasn't got a billion pounds to, to put into the airline. I was wondering what, what your reading of the situation is with, with Virgin. Well, Vir Virgin, it, it, when it came to, to, to this world, when it was born in the mid-1980s, was very much a, a challenger, maverick, brand it began with one aircraft uh, it, it played upon the virgin name and the and the the status of uh, richard branson as a, a then young entrepreneur not so young today of course the irony is that over the years that it's built up a, a pretty impressive network uh, particularly to the usa but also to uh, markets such as south africa and asia and with in some quarters a, a loyal following particularly for its uh, uh, innovative uh, business style, a bit business class style service with uh, Virgin upper class, it hasn't made significant amounts of money in any year. Large numbers of years have been loss making, other years the level of profitability has been more marginal. Now considering it's flying out of Heathrow, which is really the the gold mine airport for premium traffic uh, and the, the one where other carriers such as BA as part of IAG do make substantial amounts of money, that is that is surprising, uh, and it seems it to is really isn't it? I mean, they, they sorry, but they I mean they you know I was looking. These have been a good few years. I mean, commercially in terms of business terms, they've, they've been good years. And yet I was reading that in um, you know it hasn't made a profit since 2016. Um, the latest figures available were 2018, and um, I think there it said what was it? The carrier made a pre-tax loss of 60 million, and that's on top of 2017's near 80 million pound loss. It's got a a balance sheet of one and a half billion pounds of, of debt and a gearing of, of sort of five times. So it, it, it doesn't look like a great thing for the, the UK taxpayer to, to put money into or for that matter, um, for Sir Richard Branson to put much money into. Well, of course, I mean, what, one thing it's worth saying is that this is a real company with a real job. So uh, we're talking about real people's yeah. livelihoods. Eight and a half thousand, eight and a half thousand people, I think, are employed there. So it's, it's a very a serious very important uh, number of people working for the airline. It has, a, 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 as I mentioned, a, a loyal customer following. However, the airline has tried to dress itself uh, in the clothes of being the, the second flag carrier of the country. Personally, I'm not convinced that is really uh, relevant terminology today. Uh, there is a lot of competition. Of course, there may well be less uh, as an outcome of this uh, coronavirus uh, crisis. But competition is significant across the North Atlantic, uh, out of uh, not only Heathrow Airport, but many airports uh, around the UK or options to fly via another hub. Uh, the airline is part of the, uh, the joint venture with Delta and Air France KLM across the Atlantic. And of course, Delta, ironically, is the most profitable airline in the world as a shareholder in Virgin. It's indicated in the last few days it is not in a position to put more funding into Virgin because it itself is going to be in receipt of uh, bailout funds in the US and it can't be seen to be on the one hand asking for support in its own backyard and at the same time uh, funding one of its uh, partners abroad. But uh, other competition uh, choices exist as well as Virgin. Uh, arguably it should have been able to deliver a profit in these more benign years in which with such a strong position in Heathrow. So the issue of receiving state bailout is certainly sensitive in the industry, there are very divided views of that, about that. The government at the moment has shown a, a less than willingness uh, to come up and uh, take part in that. And of course, uh, Sir Richard Branson has written to his own staff talking about being willing to mortgage his own house, his own island, uh, bet against the company, as it were, or on behalf of the company. So it's difficult to call what exactly is going to happen in this case. It is. And very, well, I mean, you know, I think we all hope that, that Virgin is going to survive for the eight and a half thousand jobs for the, the competition that it um, provides against British Airways out of that Heathrow hub. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a tense time for the next um, few weeks until we get an answer from the government.